Hi, I'm Ryan Janelle, your reviewer for today, and I'm here to analyze a narrative to progress to Team Product from the 1990s and give you a fair critique. Okay, so why am I excited for this particular game, however? Well, not only am I a big Tobograss to Team fan, <laughs> but yeah, I also love, woohoo! Yeah, watch some wrestling, baby. Yeah, I'm talking about, you know, <laughs> clotheslines. I'm talking about, you know, submission holds. I'm talking about headlocks. Yeah, I'm talking about wimp skin beat up. Because, yeah, I'm the champion, baby. That's why I got a WCW like belt here. Yeah, I love beating up fools. Yeah, <laughs> I love wrestling. And if you think it's all fake, your mama's fake. Okay, say you're a Turbo Guy 16 fan and you want to do some wrestling. <laughs> of course, you know, doing actual wrestling in real life, you know, it looks all fake and everything. Yeah, it pretty much is, but <laughs> it's better to play in a video game. Yeah, get some battle royale. Oh, yeah. It's kind of good artwork here. But uh, why are these two guys hugging here? I don't know. <laughs> uh. It looks exciting, it looks promising. If you're a fan of the WWE or WWF or whatever, one of the coolest pay per views they got going is the Royal Rumble. And that's very similar to what a Battle Royale is. Except in a Battle Royale, yeah, all the entrants are already in the ring and you just gotta survive. You gotta stay in that ring, make sure you don't go over that top rope and lose the belt. <laughs> and now that sounds like the perfect video game and this one is full five player action. You see all these five wrestlers here, you can play as them all. And let's check her out. Maybe this is something that's going to be a great hard-hitting game that's going to be totally action-packed, wrestling, hardcore action, yeah. Or is this game like Royale Toilet Paper or something? <laughs> Not something that you want to even wipe your butt with. Let's check her out. Alright, so the game opens up pretty well. Have this hot chick here going through all the menus and you have a lot of options here multiple difficulties and up to five players yeah sounds cool at first okay, so five player chaotic action the thing is a little bit too chaotic not only is that frame rate horrible yeah but you can't actually do any like real wrestling moves Say you want to go to the top rope here, and nope, you can't. <laughs> yeah. Okay, once a character starts to flash in the wristbands, yeah, that means you can pick them up and see if you can actually throw them out of the ring to win the belt. But it's easier said than done, of course. So you want to go to that five-player mode and, you know, you duke it out with your friends. Well, good friggin' luck because the game has some very awkward controls. If you want to do certain moves in the games, you have to press let and the two error action buttons. Yeah, it's very confusing. It would have been so much better if, you know, run was one of the action buttons that you push along with buttons one and two. You know, kind of like in punch out where you hit the start button to do a super move. But <laughs> no. The thing is, you also have to press select antenna with the one and two buttons, and it's really going to feel awkward. It's not a good party game at all. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> when the computer phone is down, hit up both of the buttons, and that's how you can actually lift up your opponent and do actually one of the few actual wrestle maneuvers instead of just freaking striking. The game is pretty much just striking. It's also weird striking too. Like some characters, yeah, punch the ground. <laughs> okay, doing the rake. All right, and I rake. Yeah, I'm doing the John Jones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that kind of looks like a clothesline, or I'm just punching to the left there. <laughs> you can earn money and you get stats at the end. But it's all four points. Money can't buy shit in this game. That would have been so cool if you can buy extra moves, different costumes, or maybe, you know, change up your manager and all that. You want to see if you can get that championship, or in this case, one born screen that says congratulations. You can try the one player mode and go through all the fighters. But the thing is, yeah, the more fighters you beat, the game gives artificial difficulty by having you fight two opponents, then three opponents, then four 
opponent at once. So that's like one versus four <laughs> if you get really good at the game. And it's just super cheap at that point. And if you do win those matches, it feels more like luck instead of, you know, using skill. The gameplay is very basic. Just go to one match, then the nets. You face off against the same four opponents each time. And that's it. It's cool that you can actually see a replay and has some nice colorful graphics here with different fonts for each character. But it gets very old very quick. Yeah, the game starts off easy enough, but it's going to get way harder later on. Especially with the four on one matches. Uh, so there are so many great five player games on Turgrass. It's seen uh, Dungeon Explorer and Bomberman. You know, games that are good one player and five player experiences. Battle Royale, it's none of the above, no. It's not a good one player game, it's not a good five player game. It's not even a good wrestling game. If you do get the hang of it and you want to play for a little bit while drunk, fine. It's good for a few laughs, but once you've seen all the characters, just five, and once you throw a few friends over the top rope, okay, guess that was kind of funny. <laughs> but mediocre graphics, horrible frame rate, and not to mention, very low wrestling in a wrestling game. Oh, very disappointed. Battle Royale here for Turfgrass 16. It earns a 29 now under. Horrible characters, bad design, repetitive gameplay. Oh yeah, you're gonna hate this one in a hurry. <laughs> it's always a good sign when the game was only developed by about a handful of people. <laughs> The only battle you'll have is going back to the store to see if you can get your money back. And then the store owner's probably going to want to fight you because they're not going to want it back, no. I want my money back. No, you can't have your money back. All right, we got to fight. Ah! One to avoid for sure. Okay, and that's it for me. This is Arizona World Heavyweight Champion. And yes, Bounce Adventure World Heavyweight Champion. Brother.